Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm checking into the energy for tonight, okay? Um, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Thank you for all of the comments, all the confirmations, you guys. Oh, keep them coming, please. Um, seriously, I'm getting such awesome confirmations it's it, it like gives me the goosebumps you guys so <laughs> thank you for all of that and um thank you to all of my subscribers welcome to everybody new here welcome all right so somebody's clearing something out here with the sink okay or there could be like a final breakup I'm getting the sense that people are talking about you here and somebody seems to be vindicating your name, like cleaning up, okay? And there's a there's a karmic that's getting very angry about this, ooh, because they're getting cut off or cut down. I feel like someone is defending you, yeah, shedding the truth on the situation, yes. Yeah, exposing the karmic for being a liar. I feel like there's a there's a feminine energy. I feel like it's a karmic, very mentally unstable, okay? Um, this is somebody who tries to act like, you know, like their life is all proper and all good and perfect, but behind closed doors, this karmic, she's crazy. She freaks out at any little thing. Um, and I feel like there's a, there may be a masculine, it could be anybody, um, but someone is defending you here, okay? There's been a lot of gossip, a lot of lies said about you, Divine Feminine, and I feel like um, this is, there's somebody who's cutting this, this karmic off or putting them down somehow. Um, shutting them up for sure. Yeah, look, somebody is protecting you this is defend and protect your snow fort i'm telling you there's a masculine who is defending you behind the scenes yes they're standing up to this karmic they've had enough and all of a sudden this karmic is like sort of scared worried um freaked out okay that this masculine is actually standing up for you yes this is going down man I feel like this karmic is, it's going to be over. Yeah, it's going to be over. I feel like this masculine, they're done. They they turn totally cold on this karmic. Um, yeah, temporary. Yep. Yeah, this masculine is going to cut this karmic off of any financial support. That's it. That's it. She's done. She can maybe... Um, stay in it, wherever they're living. I feel like they live together. And this masculine has heard so much gossip. He's just sick of the gossip about you. Um, and I feel like they share a home. And this masculine has said, well, you can stay there maybe till the end of the month. You know, or maybe you can live here for like another another month and a half or something like that. Okay, because this karmic, she's being cut off of all support she's freaked out yep yeah, and now i feel like she's going to be angry with you because this is all because this masculine is sticking up for you this is divine feminine energy here yes so the masculine is vindicating your name um standing up for you and they've had enough of the gossip they've had enough of the lies they don't want this karmic talking about their divine feminine, period. This karmic is trying to fix it. Like she's trying to backpedal and say, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to talk about the divine feminine anymore. But this masculine knows that that's a lie. It's a temporary fix. She just wants to stick around. And this masculine is not going to allow it. They're not, they're not tolerating this anymore. Especially, I, I feel like it's just starting to really annoy them because they know that they know that there's a lot of lies and a lot of blame on an innocent person here. Okay, not only that, but this masculine is in love with you. Okay, they are, and they're defending your name now. 
all right they're standing up to this karmic yeah they're now on their divine path so mm -hmm, that karmic situation is done <laughs> it's done i'm telling you yeah this is ending in a huge argument this is a big fight about you okay um yeah, like this karmic's being told, back off my divine feminine. Back off my divine feminine. It's over. Yeah, they're sick of the gossip. That This is gossip. They're sick of the gossip. I cannot make it up. It, and here's the sick card. They're sick of the gossip, you guys. All right, so what else can you show me here? This karmic is scared. She doesn't have anywhere to go. She's going to lose her home. She's going to lose this connection. She's going to lose this masculine to you, okay? And she's going to lose all financial support. She's freaked out. Yeah, she's going to have to move. Okay, there's the moving van. I'm sick of the gossip. I'm sick of your crap. You're going to have to go. That's what this masculine is saying. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be coming very, very soon, okay? I just feel like things are heating up in that situation. This is going to be a huge fight. And I feel like the karmic is, she's going to go kicking and screaming. I'm telling you, she is. Yeah, happy. Yeah, from happiness to tears, okay? She goes from being all kinds of smug, right, all kinds of smug, to crying over this breakup because she's scared. Her whole life is about to be uprooted, and she's not going to want to go. I feel like she's going to try different tactics. Um, if she starts trying different tactics, this masculine is, yeah, this masculine is going to say, just leave now. There's the door. They are not dealing with this person anymore. Yeah. Okay, then what happens? What is this masculine going to do? I just saw communication in the deck. I'm, I look at the pictures as I shuffle, okay? And, and when one pops out at me, yeah, yeah. This is them learning a lesson, okay? This is being schooled right? And the school bus is out here too. Um, so this person is now there. I feel like they want to be in hermit energy. Okay. They want to be in hermit energy and they want to learn this lesson and they, they uh, spirit is going to be getting this person prepared to come to you. Okay. Spirit will be preparing this person to come to you. All right. So what else can you show me? Divine masculine, yeah. And they feel like rushing in. They're ready to be loyal to you now. They want to be committed, dedicated. This is someone who's ghosted you. Also, I'm feeling like they're going to tell you, yeah, they're going to tell you that they've ended things with the karmic. Okay, that they want to, they want to start um, something new. They want to, they want to change their life. They want to start a new phase in their life now, and they want it to be with you, Divine Feminine. Ooh, that one flipped up. You're not going to be expecting this, okay? This is going to be a huge surprise to you. This is something completely unpredictable, okay? Or completely unpredicted. Like, yeah, you have no way of knowing this person is coming in, but I feel like they're coming in because they're they're being called to this is this is a divine masculine this is divine masculine right here okay divine masculine energy being schooled and learning a lesson when it comes to love spirit prepares them to come to you and they are called they are called and so this person is just gonna pop up unexpectedly all right yeah, so get ready for that because they are coming in, yes, and they, they're going to tell you everything. This is laying everything out on the table. 
telling you the whole truth, making you a full confession, okay, and telling you that they want this to be permanent. They want it to be permanent. They want to commit. They want to be loyal to you now. And this is on the bottom of the deck is the higher font. This is God. This is this person um, being brought to you, right? Basically, yeah. They're being spiritually led to come towards you. They want to commit as well. This, is, this can stand for a commitment as well. Okay, yeah, can we start something new? Look, you're my divine partner. You're my divine counterpart. I want this with you. Can we please, can I please have a second chance? I'm ready. You're ready. Um, I'm coming back around and I want to be with you. This is, you know, this is what this person is saying. This is a lot of communication and they want their wish fulfillment I'm telling you, I kind of am getting the sense that this communication between you two, because this person, you're going to see that they've changed. And I'm, I'm getting that, you know, with you two coming together, right, this, this is also a union. And wish fulfillment here with the Ten of Cups. This is the Ten of Cups in this deck. This communication really could change everything. It could change everything. You could be watching the movie The Notebook, um, or you could have recently watched The Notebook, or your connection has a lot of like um, similarities to that movie, right? This person is coming back around. They want another beginning, and I feel like this looks like union to me. It does. The commu this, this truth, the communication that changes everything with the five. See, that's what I'm looking at. With the five. A second chance. Okay? This person wanting to make things permanent. They want to commit. This is wish fulfillment and you two coming together. So, yeah, and you're, this is something you don't expect. You think this is over. You think this person is never coming back in. Well, they're about to show up. And they're about to say, I am ready. You're ready. Let's give it another try. And now the choice is going to be yours. You don't have to take this person back. Okay, but what I'm seeing here are two people coming together. Okay, and my phone keeps going off. So that's a confirmation for me. So, yeah, an, an emperor energy right here. Emperor energy. This person is all bossed up. They're, they're, um, they're vibing at your level, okay? They're, they've learned a lesson. Spirit is bringing this person in. So, whether you want them back or not, you're about to get a full confession and an apology, okay? You're about to get justice and this person is already vindicating your name. So, yeah, get ready, collective. They're coming in. Um, let's see let's see what else we can find for you here. Give me just a couple more for the collective, please. Ooh, and we even have a stray card in the deck. What's the stray card? <laughs> Judgment. This is spirit. This is the divine. Sorry, when I get a stray card, I've got to read it. it. It's the energy, okay? Um, so, yeah, chaos, conflict. I feel like this is, this is where this karmic is right now. She's sitting in a, in a major ending here with a 10, okay? Under judgment. Look at under judgment in chaos and conflict because she doesn't know what she's going to do. And this is over. Time has run out for her. Yes, and, the, and this masculine is coming towards you, wanting a new beginning. Okay? Wanting a new beginning. There's that masculine energy coming to you, wanting a new beginning. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> another, another confirmation. 
<coughs> oh, that's funny. Sorry. Yeah, wanting <laughs> wanting a commitment um, and being at your level here. Okay, wanting to be loyal, wanting to be dedicated. <laughs> um, this is the Ten of Pentacles here in this deck. Yeah, so this person, they're, they're coming forward. You're not expecting it. So, you know, maybe try to prepare yourself for this. This communication really is going to change this all around. And I feel like this is you two getting together, getting back together, right? And making it official. Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.